All right, so I know I can't be the only one that decides if a shoe is actually comfortable depending on the width of the shoe. So because of that, I decided to do a video on my top five comfortable sneakers that are wide foot friendly. Let's go ahead and get into the video. What is going on guys, Hess here, collectivekicks.com. If you guys wanna shop this week's top sneaker deals, check the link in the description, as well as if you guys wanna shop any of the shoes that I discuss in this video, friendly to us wide footers out there. So before we get into the video though, I wanna let you know that this is obviously very, very subjective. So just because I say that these are wide foot friendly shoes does not mean that they're 100% perfect for you. As you guys all know, you all have different feet. So if you guys have uh, other suggestions that I'm not mentioning in this video, leave a comment. Let other people know what shoes that you guys think are really nice for people that have wider feet. Now that we got that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into my top five shoes for comfort that are wide foot friendly. All right, so the first shoe on this list is the Adidas Alpha Boost. It has a really wide base on the bottom of this shoe, which makes it really, really nice for wider feet. At least for myself, these felt really good on feet. The Continental Rubber Traction is actually a really nice plus on the bottom, and it does have a breathable mesh upper as well as a very comfortable Boost midsole. As you already know, Boost has a lot of cushion for the pushing, and it feels really good on feet. Uh, this one has a good amount on this shoe. This is also a really versatile shoe, so if you can only afford one shoe like this one, you can go running, you can work out in this shoe, you can wear this shoe casually as well, which is why I like the fact that it has kind of an all-in-one feel to the shoe. Price point is $150, but I have been posting them on sale for as low as $120. So far, I bet they will go down in price. One other thing I wanted to mention is these were pretty easy to get on my feet. I definitely like a shoe that's loose and easy to slip on, and there's enough of a hole around the ankle area that you should be able to slip these on with no problem. But it is very versatile for running, walking, and these are very lightweight, so it is my number five spot on the countdown. Moving on to the number four spot, we have the New Balance 990 V5. This shoe is super wide foot friendly. Uh, it definitely feels like a dad shoe. It's just a super comfortable shoe as soon as you put them on. And I know they're not the most attractive shoes out there, but um, honestly, I don't really care because as soon as you put them on your feet, uh, I don't know what it is about the shoe, but I feel like a super dad. Like one, I'm like, okay, I definitely feel like these are like the barbecue fives or something like that. They're just super comfortable. And uh, you know, I had to run and chase my kid on his bike and they were really comfortable for that as well. There was no break-in period. They have suede and mesh. The reflective hits of the New Balance is actually really nice. Uh, and then made in the USA, proudly on the tongue there. The tongue is massively huge. Easy to get on, the way I have them laced, and I always double lace the top. You can see I put the lace through the top hole the second time, and then it pulls the laces down, and that's pretty much it. They're super easy to slide on. Past the no hands test, you just slip them on and go. Uh, comfortable shoe. Price point on these are a little bit high though, I will say. You'd be better off buying the V4 instead of the V5, but um, both of them are great, and honestly, the New Balance line in general. This isn't the only one that you guys will find comfortable with New Balance. There's a whole bunch of other ones on the market from New Balance that you guys can find really comfortable. And even on their website, they do have different widths that you could choose when you buy the shoes. So for those extreme wide footers, check out New Balance's site. Tons and tons of options for wide foot people. But these do have a durable upper, a well cushioned midsole, and a really nice insole to the shoe as well. They're definitely more comfortable than expected. The price point on these retail at $175 though. So price is a little bit higher. All right, so coming in at the number three spot, we have one of my favorite shoes of the year so far, and this is the Nike React Presto. Super lightweight, really wide foot friendly, very, very nice on feet, and crazy, crazy comfort with the React midsole. They do have real minimal traction, and one thing I will say is that if you're looking for a shoe that's more versatile and one that you can wear to the gym as well, like I wouldn't lift weights in these shoes. For some of you guys, you might do it, but I think that they're way too flimsy in the toe box area to lift weights or anything else. So this is strictly a casual shoe in my opinion, but they do it really, really well, especially for that price point, only $120. Uh, you get a huge amount of React in the bottom of these shoes and they're definitely wide foot friendly, just for myself. I was really surprised by this shoe uh, when I tried them on because I personally think they're really ugly looking. A lot of people don't agree, but I just don't like the look of these shoes. But on feet, it didn't matter because they were so incredibly comfortable. It is definitely a very free feeling when you're walking around with these because of the stretch upper. Some may like it, some may actually not like it. But at the end of the day, an amazing shoe in my opinion. And for wider feet, it looks and feels really, really good. So moving on to the number two spot, one of the most expensive ones in the countdown. $300 at retail, but the Easy Boost 700 is 
super wide foot friendly, definitely a chunky dad shoe. You can see the width of this shoe. I mean, it's just ridiculous. Uh, and they feel really, really good on feet. I actually do like to even go up a half a size in the toe box section for these ones. So I get a 9.5 true to size or sometimes I'll get a size 10. Either way, I'm happy, but I honestly do prefer the 10. If you do realize that you got one that's too snug, you can always remove the insole and it adds a little bit uh, better feel to the shoe, especially in this section right here, which is normally where I feel the most tension for my feet in sneakers. So take the insoles out and then this section should feel better. Uh, thumbs up if you guys did not know that and maybe that little pro tip helped you out a little bit. But all in all, I think this is a great shoe. It's a chunky dad shoe vibe. For sure, obviously this is a Wave Runner colorway, so it is the one that a lot of people really like with the 700s. Even with the restock, it'll be interesting to see what people think about these after August because they are restocking the masses, even for kid sizes from what it sounds like. So definitely looking forward to that. Rumor is that the price point will be only $250 at retail, but regardless, it is a comfortable boost encased midsole. As you could see right here, they're very wide foot friendly. And um, I think that these are definitely for non-athletic usage. So definitely for casual only, but maybe if you guys go running in these, I, I don't know, it'd look honestly ridiculous. I'd love to see somebody run a marathon in 700s, that'd be hilarious. There's also the V2 version that I've done a review on. I compared the V2 geode right here to the V1 mauve colorway. And if you guys wanna see that video, check my channel out or just search geode and mauve and you guys should be able to find my video. But great shoe, one that I have quite a few colorways in and one that I actually really like and they feel really good on feet. The number two spot on the countdown. All right, so we made it to the number one spot on the countdown. And if you guys enjoyed the video, please give the video a thumbs up as well as leave other comments for other wide foot friendly shoes that you guys find as your go-to shoes uh, that I did not mention in this countdown because it could have been a top 10. These are just five that I figured would be the essentials or great ones for you guys out there. So number one spot, wait a minute. I know it looks like the Wave Runner because I did the customization on my Nike Monarchs and the number one spot has to go to the Nike Monarch for wide foot friendly shoes. It's a fan favorite of dads everywhere, grandpas, uncles as well. No, seriously, like everywhere you go, you see old people wearing Monarchs. But regardless, they're really, really comfortable. And I know why they wear them. They're super wide foot friendly, but they're also really, really relaxed and they feel good just casually. They're just all around great shoes. These also come in different widths, but all in all, the Nike Air Monarch is one of the staples and the cornerstones of Nike in general. It's one of the top selling shoes from Nike of all time, from what I understand. So pretty, uh, pretty crazy to know. But the funny thing is, the Monarchs have been picked up by sneakerheads as somewhat sort of a mockery, but at the end of the day, the joke is really on everyone else because they're super comfortable. Like this shoe is super comfortable to wear. It's one that I've worn a handful of times and I really like them. But, but that is the number one spot for wide foot friendly sneakers. What shoes did I miss on the countdown? I'm sure there's a thousand other shoes that people are like, well, these ones are great on feet and they're comfortable too. Leave those comments in the comment section and let me know. If you guys like to see more videos like this or just want me to revive my top five series, which is something that I've been wanting to do for a while now. Maybe I do a monthly top five instead of weekly because it's hard to do a weekly top five. But leave a comment, let me know, and leave a thumbs up on this video. Let me know you're serious about my top five videos. Have a good rest of the day. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Notification bell to be notified when the videos go live. And we will see you guys for some more videos soon. Peace, guys.